Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to give you a message from your inner goddess. Yes, child, from your inner goddess. For those of you who are new to my channel, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are fabric sculptures, dolls that I created myself. I, I sold these dolls. And as I was making them, they would not stop talking to me, which resulted in my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series, which is a steamy, sizzling hot story of human evolvement. Some people have called it Nubian mythology. And this, each one of my dolls have a unique personality, which was captured in my Oracle deck that I created with herbs and oils. Child, these dolls are magical, these cars are magical, and they have a Hello, lot of darling. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the orange butterfly, which may also look gold depending on your computer, this reading is for you for the message from your inner goddess. You also selected the sodalite skull message as well, which I would give at the end of the card reading. The first card I have for you from your inner goddess is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is, your soul signed her for this mission on earth. Find the lesson to help you evolve. Your inner goddess. I'm just gonna give you all the cards before I start saying, oh, this is what this card means. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalbi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalbi's message for you is be fearless. The next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is True love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties. And the next message I have for you from the inner goddess is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sayanai. And her message to you is Spontaneity is the cure for everything. 
So basically your inner goddess is saying that yeah, you need to you need to make a change like right now and not overthink it. There's something in your life that you have been contemplating, but you have been overthinking it. You have the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess the Eve that says you're a soul signer for this mission on earth. Find the lesson to help you evolve. So what I'm picking up from this hand is that you have been doubting yourself like you're, you're thinking like well if this is supposed to if I'm supposed to write this book then I don't understand why it's not selling right away if I'm supposed to start this channel then why is this channel struggling if I'm supposed to go back to school then why do I keep getting teachers who make it difficult for me you are in a rut right now because you think that Things are, should be easy for you because this is what you're supposed to do. So the your inner goddess is telling you that you need to be fearless. Jungle Beauty Goddess Charlie says you need to be fearless and you need to says spontaneity is, is, is the cure for everything. You need to do something different and you need to do it spontaneously. So this is what I'm going to tell you to do. I'm going to give you some bad advice, child. Whatever you are contemplating on doing right now, don't overthink it. Don't do what you have done before. Do something different and do it right now. You need to be fearless. Your cars, your inner goddess is telling you to be fearless. It says true love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties. What this means is that sometimes we want to do what's best for our parents or what's best for other people, for our maid, for our children. But when we think about, wait, let me just say this. The, what popped in my head is there's this saying that says, the greatest gift that any mother could give her child is her own happiness. Now, what that means, you may not be a parent, but what it means is that your own happiness is the greatest gift you can give the world. So you can't think about, oh, if I apply for another job, then my boss is going to miss me. Or if I do this, then my spouse won't support me. If I do that, then my parents won't approve of it. Your spirit is saying that you, the people who love you, are going to support your dream. That you need to be fearless, you need to be spontaneous, and you need to do it now. Like, you don't need to go and do more research or to overthink this. You, Your inner goddess is begging you to jump in and do the thing that you came to this planet to do. Find a lesson to help you evolve. So this is my suggestion to you. You should really look at everything you have done in the last five years and write down at least, I would say, five to seven major lessons that you have learned from everything you have tried. Whether it was going to school or every job you've had, what, what were the lessons that you learned from each one of those jobs and what is the pattern that you see? Because once you see that pattern, you are literally going to be able to break the pattern. It says find the lesson to help you evolve. Your soul signed up for this mission on earth. So basically, you, whatever you are going through right now, you're on track, but you feel like you're stuck. And the reason you are stuck is because you haven't been able to address what the real lessons are. You can't. You haven't figured out what it is you should be doing. So, go back last five years. No matter what jobs, whatever jobs you have, relationships you have, because everybody have different areas. Your inner goddess. Your inner goddess really want you to go back for the last five to seven years. Write down the five to seven major lessons that you've learned and look at how you can do things differently and this is going to take you out of the spiritual rut that you're in and move you to the next level i have a message for you from your inner goddess from the sodalite skull being find them to have so we're going to see what additional message that we may have for you so what is an additional message that we have for the person who selected the orange butterfly from their inner goddess. 
You must accept who you are. Accepting who you are means that you have to accept the things about you that are quirky, that other people think is weird. You must look into your look in, within your own heart for answers. Don't ask other people what you should do. They don't know what you should do. You have the answer. And you also think that when you make a mistake that maybe that was the wrong answer, but it doesn't mean it was the wrong answer. It just means that there was an additional lesson you need to learn. You need to trust in yourself, believe in yourself, and keep moving forward. The biggest mistake you can make is to stand still. Your inner goddess want you to be spontaneous and to be fearless, to believe in yourself and to take the next step without consulting other people. Do what you think is right. So that is the message I have for you from your inner goddess. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the Indigo Butterfly message, then this reading is for you. So first I'm going to pull your cards and then I'll go over each card and then I'll give you a message from your star alien being. The first card I have for you from your inner goddess is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is, your highest and best self is your only competition. Y'all don't compare yourself to nobody. When you do your best, you, you did your thing done. But let's keep on going. The next message I have from you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Charby. And her message to you from your inner goddess is do what is best for you. Wow. This is some strong, strong energy tonight. The next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and her message to you is knowledge is power and I have another message from Sahara to you and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is think about it Ooh. so your inner goddess mm -mm -mm. your inner goddess First of all, I'm going to say what's popping in my head is that it seems that you don't understand that you are irreplaceable and you seem to be, you seem to think that if you change some things, no, you, you need to do what's best for you. You need to knowledge is power think about it there's something listen i don't know who this message is for but if you are considering making a decision that you think is going to make somebody else happy that maybe you don't want to rock the boat the message is clearly that you need to do what is best for you they're asking you to think about whatever decision it is that's on your heart right now. Like what your inner goddess wants you to seriously think about this. Knowledge is power. And I think we'll, with this card, we're pulling in the um, throat chakra, which has to do with our ability to see the truth, recognize the truth, speak the truth. I'm getting the feeling that you may be ignoring the facts that are directly in your face. Your inner goddess is telling you, line up the facts, child. Look at them. Don't be, don't be in denial. Don't try to sugarcoat it. Be honest with yourself because knowledge is power. And once you look at these factors, you will see that you really need to do what is best for you. Okay? This is clear as day. And your highest and best self is your only competition. What this means is that you don't need to think about who this 
other person may be, whether we're talking about a job, whether we're talking about a, a book or a YouTube channel or whatever it is. But whenever you do your best, you your highest and best self is your only competition. What this means is when you've done your best, you have no other competition. So if you are comparing yourself to someone else in any way, rather, you know, like I said, whether it's with a job or whether it's in a relationship, you are not thinking correctly because when you are comparing yourself to someone else, you're coming up short in your own head. But spirit is telling me to tell you that knowledge is power and that you really need to look at the facts that like there are some things about you that are so wonderful that you are really ignoring there's some truth that's going on as well like you may be in a situation where people are trying to make you feel like you are expendable or that you're just you know i can get another one like you um you're not that special but that's not true and so whatever is going on in your life i'm going to repeat this whether it's a job relationship spirit is sent for you to really think about it but also think about it in terms of your highest and best self is your only competition which means like look at yourself and see how wonderful and special you are like there is nobody else on this planet like you don't let yourself be undermined or don't let somebody uh, undermine your self-worth you really need to understand that you are a very valuable and important person and even if the other person or job, what, whoever, if they can't see it, that's their problem. That's their loss. Knowledge is power, which means that be truthful. Look at the facts. Like, you know, think to yourself, like, wait a minute. Why am I putting myself down? Why am I comparing myself? Why do I feel like I deserve this? No. So knowledge is power, which means that being aware of your own truth, that's where your power comes from. Once you recognize your self, your value, who you are, your self-worth, your your own, you know, belief in yourself, you have to do what is best for you. And you have to understand that when you do what's best for you, that you're not competing with other people. You're only trying to be your highest and best self. So I'm going to also listen for a message from the alien being for you. What is a message for the person who chose this butterfly from their inner goddess? Focus on valuing yourself more. Your inner goddess is a part of you that loves you unconditionally. You don't have to earn love from your inner goddess. You are used to giving of yourself in order for people to love you, respect you. But you have value. You have innate value. And you don't need to prove anything to anybody. Your inner goddess wants you to go on a fierce mission of loving yourself more, telling people no, not com making commitments to any endeavors that are not for your highest good. The biggest message from this card reading is for you to do what is best for you. This means if you don't want to work overtime, don't work overtime. This means that if you have to tell people no, tell people no. But doing what's best for you is what's going to make you happy and bring about all of the things that you want and value in this life. That is the message I have for you from your inner goddess. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the hot pink butterfly for the message from your inner goddess, this reading is for you. 
first I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you a message from the beautiful Chrysocolla alien being after we go over your cards. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is read as much as you can before asking questions. It's pretty deep. The next message I have for you for your inner goddess is from the Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. Our Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is don't ignore physical pain. The next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Cyanide. And her message to you is take a risk. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is be crafty, create the life you deserve. Wow, your inner goddess really there seems to be a major collective theme tonight from the inner goddess the inner goddesses are telling you first and foremost to take a risk so that means that there is something that you've been contemplating but you have just really have not fully committed yourself to because maybe you fear failure and it says be crafty and create the life you desire what this means is you may be a person who you may have a job you may not have all the money and time that you would like available to um, maybe go back to school or maybe write a book or but but the cars are saying be crafty which means that maybe you have to stay up you know one night a week or maybe you may have to crafty means you have to come up with a way that you haven't tried before to free up your time to do something that really matters to you because this time that you free up is going to give you the resources and the ability to create the life you deserve so you need to take a risk and do that don't ignore physical pain this card is coming in from general beauty goddess katara who represents your root chakra and it has to do with your physical health your body now I'm picking up from this particular reading that this that the pain could be mental anguish. So let's just say you're working a job and you're really depressed, and you really try to ignore the depression. You try to ignore the gnawing feeling inside of your spirit that there should be that you want more, that you should be doing more, but you just you know you just you keep ignoring that. I don't get the feeling in this particular reading that it, when we say physical pain, you know, depression is physical pain. Like sometimes we have anxiety attacks or we can't sleep at night, but it's the it's the pain of you know drudgery of just feeling like, well, I'm just gonna go because I go to work because I have to get my money and I have to pay my bills. This pain that you feel is real and that you shouldn't ignore it because you really need to start thinking about how you're going to be crafty to create the life you deserve. What can you take away? What can you cut out of your life so that you can go for that dream? And then we have one more card. Oh my God, I love this card. It says, read as much as you can before asking questions. Now, what I'm picking up from this overall hand is, let's, I'm just going to... I guess because we're watching, we're on YouTube, I'm going to use YouTube as an example. So let's just say you want to start a YouTube channel, and but you start, you think, well, let me go and I'll ask people like, hey, how did you do this? How did you get started? What do you do? They're saying, no, go and read. Go read as much as you can before asking questions because the your inner goddess is telling you to connect with your own truth and do your own research. I feel like that's a really big theme right now from the spiritual realm is asking people to connect to their inner truth to do their own research when you ask people questions they're going to give you an answer based i'm sorry based off of what they would do oh but i messed my makeup off sorry um what they would what they would do what they want but 
it doesn't necessarily mean that that would be what's best for you. You have to understand they can only filter information through their own life experience. So read as much as you can. And you know, when you read and you, you it gives you an opportunity to explore um, ideas and um, from ancient times to present time, right? from people of all nationalities across the globe. There's something magical about reading. And when you ask someone a question, you wanna filter it through your own knowledge base. So think of your own knowledge base as a sifter. So you have all of this information, right? So this person may have good information for you, but you'll be able to select what information is best for you because you have a knowledge base already in place. But when you ask people questions with, and you don't know anything about the subject, it's like you take too much of their energy in that may not be for your highest good. I, I really hope, does that make sense what I'm saying? So you definitely want to create your own knowledge base, read as much as you can from as many sources as you can. And, and then if you have any questions, you can ask questions and then you'll be able to see what is in alignment with your truth and what you want and you know in the process of doing your research your the cars are saying that you really need to think about how you're going to create a better life for yourself and um, be crafty which means that it means to me usually when the cars say be crafty it means it's some there's something you need to do to rearrange your schedule maybe you need to record at night or in the morning or before the kids wake up or maybe you need to you know write while you're on the train you know um but you have to it's not going to be a lot of times people think well i'm just going to quit my job and write my book <laughs> I'm just going to quit my job and start my channel. You know, for most of us, it doesn't work that way. So you'll, we'll have to carve out time out of our lives. We have to be crafty about how we're going to do that and still maintain our you know, resources and our, a way to pay our bills. Take a risk. It just means you know, jump on in there, child. Get started. Like, Don't put this off. And don't ignore the gnawing in your spirit that's telling you that you deserve more. And now I'm going to give you the message from this beautiful Christocola alien being, from your inner goddess. Let's see what the message is. What is the additional message you have for this person to help them to be from their inner goddess? What does their inner goddess want them to know? That was really good. <laughs> Move from a space of love. Everything you do, do it with love, from love, and for love. If you are thinking about making decisions for monetary gain, this may lead you in the wrong direction. People who have large sums of money do not necessarily always contribute to the highest good of society. And people who do not have money can be can, can contribute energy sources that move society forward. Make sure that whatever you do, you are doing it because you love it and you want to give love to the people who experience the gift that you are sharing with the world. Love is the answer. Love is the energy. If you move with the vibration of love, everything will come together before you know it. Your warning from your inner goddess is do not make decisions on what you think will bring monetary gain right away. This will lead you down the wrong path. That is all. So the message from the Chrysocola alien being for you. Thank you. 
is for you to follow your heart, basically. But I think it's in, to whatever you do, make sure it's something that you love. So I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the teal green butterfly, this message is for you from your inner goddess. And at the end of the cards, I'm going to give you a message from the skull bean for additional information. So the first card I have for you, oh, these cards smell so good. It's from Jungle, it's from the Jungle Beauty Gods. It's Father the Matter, and his message to you is anything is possible. I always, if I could get any card, that would be my card. Like anything is possible. Sometimes I just need to like not forget that, you know. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you is, let's get that card in, good. Her message to you is, know that you are beautiful just the way you are. Wow, this is so beautiful. You are beautiful, anything is possible. Oh, your inner goddess is like, gee, oh, okay, let me keep going. The next card I have for you from your inner goddess is from... Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib and her message to you is let's pull it in you are timeless and limitless being proceed in this manner hey and the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and Namib and it says plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul you know what I think what pops into my head from this hand, from this reading is that the message from your inner goddess is that you are worried about the wrong thing right now. You're more worried about how you look or appearances as opposed to the energy from your soul. So the best way I could describe this is that maybe someone is thinking like oh when i lose weight or if i gain weight or if i change my hair or if i change something about myself then i'll be more successful things will work out for me and your inner goddess is telling you it says plant seeds to bear the fruit of your soul yet you need to work on your inner self there are things that there's a gift that you have inside of you to share with this world that is very important but you are more focused on factors that have nothing to do with this inner gift that you have to share. And it says also that you are a timeless and limitless being proceed in this manner, which ties right back into the message that if you are a timeless and limitless being, this means that your magic or your ooh la la, your power, it comes from your mission to this planet you know don't think in terms of well I ha like you're so there's something limiting either in the way you think oh I don't have so I only have so much time I don't want to go to get my doctor degree because my doctor degree would take too much time and if you're a limitless being then you're gonna go for your doctor degree you're gonna go for your law degree um, you're not going for the quick fix. You're not going for the superficial superficiality. And I think this is the primary message that I am getting from this hand is that you should not focus on what's superficial. You need to focus on what's deep and timeless. And um, the next card, oh my God, this hand. It says, know that you are beautiful just the way you are. So this card is saying to you, this hand is so, from your inner goddess, is so powerful. Your goddess is telling you, look, you came here completely equipped for this mission. You have everything you need to be successful. We need you to tap into your gifts and your talents. 
and not focus on the superficiality or and when I say superficiality it doesn't necessarily have to be your physical appearance it could just be caring what people think or worrying about money it's like worrying about things outside of the gift that you came to share oh my god and then the last card you have which was the first card was anything is possible so the message from your inner goddess is focus on your gifts, focus on your talents, focus on, I mean, I think what popped in my head was, I don't know, is her name Lizzo? But, she, you know, it's like, what if she had focused on, oh my God, I have to lose weight. It's like, sometimes we think that we're not good enough for the role that we came here to perform. But we don't understand that we came here completely designed for the role we came to perform. And your inner goddess is telling you to please focus on your gifts and your talents, not external factors, because that is what's holding you up right now. And I'm going to listen for your additional message from this beautiful gemstone skull. I'm going to see what is the best way to do this. Here we go. What additional message do you have for this person from your inner goddess? Pretend that you already have everything you want. Pretend that you are what you want to be. Wake up in the morning and pretend that all of your dreams have already come true. Act as if you already are everything you ever wanted to be. Do this every day. Don't become a writer, be a writer. Don't become a singer, be a singer. You are what you do, not what you think. The act of becoming is an act of procrastination that prevents you from evolving to your highest and best self. You must do to be. There is no other route. Is there an additional message? This is all. Be what you came to this planet to be. Be it every day. That's a really good message. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.